We are a wakeboarding YouTube channel, but we can't do it during the winter, so we're looking to change that now. I bought a snowboard and some bindings, but there's one key aspect that I don't have yet. I'm looking to add that today. In this box, I have the final thing that will allow me to snowboard. Inside this bag is a box. Inside this box are some boots. Oh yeah. That's at least a couple inches of shoe right there. These are the DC Phase snowboard boots. I bought them because they looked pretty good online and they are pretty cheap too. The key thing that makes these different than most snowboard boots is how they tie up just like a shoe. I've gone snowboarding once in my life and I used a rental board that had the BOA system where you crank it to tighten it. By the second day of the trip, my hand was cramping up from having to tighten it multiple times in one day. My hand doesn't cramp up when I tie a normal shoe multiple times in a day. My hands should be completely fine tightening down normal laces rather than having to crank down a BOA system. There's not a bunch of information inside the box, but from what I've read online, I think these are a soft to medium stiffness type boot. I want a more soft boot so that I can flex out on grabs or presses. And I've been riding soft boots on my wakeboard forever. The overall feel on the boot is pretty nice. It has this Alcantara suede kind of feel on this black part. It's very soft. The red part has a more, more scratchy material. I have no idea what it's called. It's just a bunch of very tiny squares that are built into it. They do look like very big sneakers, which is a little bit different than other snowboard boots. Most of them look like boots. You could try and blend in wearing these, but they're way too big. People are definitely going to know that. These are snowboard boots instead. The inside liner says RLI or RL1, RL line going straight down. The first edition liner, if it's a one, it's a shame that it's not the two. A little bit of an upgrade could have been made there. I'm gonna strap into these boots and we'll see how they feel on my feet. A little upset that they're not long enough for me to tie around the back like this, because that's what I do on my wakeboard boots and it keeps them extra tight. I guess I can make do with tying them up in the front like this. I will say, putting these on takes considerably longer than if you were to do the BOA system where you just crank them up. You're only gonna be doing this like once or twice a day depending on how many times you go out. In the end, I don't think it'll be that bad. After walking around in them for a little bit, I can say that they definitely are pretty comfortable. There's a good amount of padding to it already that I can feel. As long as that holds up over time, this is definitely gonna be a pretty soft boot. It's not very cramped inside right now either, so I definitely have space to keep layering up in terms of socks. It feels pretty solid so far. Now comes the fun part trying to get into the board with these on. All right, now we've entered POV mode where you can see me from there and from where my head is. So we're gonna strap in right now and see how everything feels. We'll click down on this, strap that down. Now for the toe, I have options here. I can either go over like this or I can go over the toe like this. For these bindings so far, it doesn't look like it likes to go super flat. I think I can move these straps back just a little bit, adjusting. Now it likes to go over the front here. I can either have it strapped over that front, just like this. We'll go over the top with you. We are strapped in. Feels pretty good right now. Can't exactly tell much. I can tell the board has some flex to it, which is good, binding wise. Yeah, that big flex from these boots. Gotta be careful on the ACL doing this. We're pretty strapped in. Help me out in the comments here. I don't know which way of putting on the toe strap is better. Either straight over the toe like this or over the bottom of the toes right here. Please let me know which one is better because I can't tell the difference. Personally, I like this one right now more, but I don't exactly know anything. You may have noticed I don't have the footbeds in right now. That's because I didn't want to completely clamp down on the bindings before I had the boots and everything adjusted because I don't know how to take these footbeds out because it looks like you would put it in and you need to pop these pins out from underneath. And I don't know how to access that from the board while it's all screwed in. So if you can help me figure that out, please because I have no clue how this works. Now I can say that I have a full snowboard setup. I am absolutely ready to go out, out to the mountain now and I don't need to rent a board. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe. The snowboarding content that we're gonna be doing this winter. If I'm doing anything wrong, or if you know more about snowboarding than we do, please feel free to leave some comments. We'll take any tips you can give us. We're pretty new to this whole thing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.